top story tonight. Investigators are asking for the public's help as they investigate a string of car burglaries in Knox County. Two suspects have been arrested, but there may be more out there, and officers are working to build the case against them. Our own Kristen Gallant spoke with the sheriff about these series of crimes and how you can avoid becoming the next victim. Uh, they've been targeting just anybody and also law enforcement as well. William Brewster and Zachary Jordan have been arrested, suspected of stealing two cars and breaking into nearly 20 vehicles in Knox County. These people are busting out back windshields. Three of those break-ins were law enforcement vehicles. This is William Brewster. Uh, he's been charged with uh, vehicle burglary, uh, three different uh, burglaries. He's out on, or he's already out on violation of probation. So. Uh, he's going to be in. He's going to be in our jail for a while. Second gentleman I have here is Zachary Jordan. Uh, Zachary has been charged with two counts of vehicular uh, burglary, vandalism, and also he is a violation of probation. Knox County Sheriff Tom Spangler says at least seven firearms were stolen. Their concern now is to make sure stolen firearms yet to be recovered aren't used in future crimes. KCSO says at this point they're not sure if the two men are the only two suspects. We're asking people to contact us, reach out to the sheriff's office. If you notice that your vehicle has been broken into or something may be missing right now, we need to know about it. Sheriff Spangler says make sure you're not leaving valuables in your car so you don't become a victim. You're locking it up thinking it's secure, but if an individual sees something else in your car, uh, to them, if they're going to break out a back windshield of a car, it doesn't mean anything to them. In Knoxville, Kristen Gallant, WATE 6 on your side. Now, if you think you might be a victim in this string of burglaries, or maybe you have information that could help investigators, please call this number. You see it right there below me on your screen, 865-215-2243. And as always, you can remain anonymous.